Hey guys, it's MHFin. If you've opened the Robinhood app recently, you will see that the charts in your phone now have a new look. We now have the option of looking at candlestick charts instead of just the typical line charts we're used to seeing. You may have seen these charts on CNBC, financial documents, or other trading platforms, and initially they look intimidating and hard to understand. Today we're going to go over how to read them and why they can be incredibly helpful to traders giving us so much more information than what we're used to look at when we look at a typical line chart. Candlestick charts have a history dating back nearly 100 years. Back in the 18th century, a Japanese rice trader of financial instruments needed a way to analyze market emotion because he discovered that although price is ultimately decided by supply and demand, there is a lot of influence by the emotions of the traders. This can be visualized by using candlesticks. By analyzing some of the patterns that are produced via this type of charting, a trader is able to, in theory, better predict the short-term direction of the price. The way you read them is rather simple once you get a couple of concepts. Unlike a line chart, candlesticks will show the stock's high and low price for the day. They are represented by the thin line. The thin line at the top represents the high price. The thin line at the bottom intuitively represents the low price of the day. Now the body. This part of the candlestick, the wide part, is called the real body. It represents the price range between the opening price of that particular stock and the closing price. Interesting, right? But you may be asking yourself why candlesticks are colored red and why some are colored green. Well, if the real body of the candlestick is green, then the top of this body shows the closing price. This means that the closing price was higher than the opening price, signifying a positive day. On the other hand, a red body signifies that the closing price was lower than the opening price, which meant that the stock went down that day. This is represented by looking at the bottom of the real body. In this case, the closed price is at the bottom of the body, while the opening price is at the top of the real body. The opposite is true, like I just explained, when the candlestick is green. So why does this all matter? Well, ultimately, the candlestick tells a story. A candlestick with long wicks, aka those thin lines you see stretching from the top and bottom portions of the body, represents the high and low prices of the day, something I mentioned earlier. Well, if a candlestick has these long whisks and a real thin body, that shows that the price of the stock move up and down heavily throughout the day, but ultimately finish somewhere near the opening price. A candlestick with a short body and little to no whiskers means that that stock didn't move much from the opening price. Analyzing certain patterns that arise from looking at candlesticks can potentially help you understand where a particular stock is headed in the short term. These are usually called candlestick patterns and they come in many forms. We'll go over just a couple that can help you predict price movement. Of course, candlestick patterns represent tendencies in price movement, not guarantees. Using these strategies should only complement existing analysis you are doing. These are merely generalizations that help you build a case for a trade and are in no way guaranteed methods for profiting. Patterns come in two forms, bearish and bullish. The first one we're going to look at is called bearish engulfing pattern. This type of pattern typically emerges in an uptrend or when the stock is headed up and represents sellers outnumbering buyers. This would show that the sellers are back in control and the price could continue to decline. Here's an example of that. As you can see, the price of the stock is headed upwards, and in this candlestick, we can see a green, short, real body followed by a long, red, real body. We can see that the long, red, real body engulfs the small, green, real body. If you see this type of pattern during an uptrend, beware, it could mean that the price is ready to continue downward. Bullish engulfing pattern on the other side forms when the market buyers are beginning to outpace sellers. This is reflected in the example below. As you can see, a continued downtrend with three red candlesticks is brought to an end after a small red body is engulfed by a long green body. This could be a signal for a reversal, indicating a continued rise in price following this scenario. Then there is bearish evening star. This is a topping pattern, which often represents a peak price in a particular stock. This pattern can be identified by the last candle in the pattern opening below the previous day small real body. The small real body can be either red or green. It doesn't matter. The last candle will close deep in the real body of the candle two days prior. This is indicating of a stalling of buyers and the sellers taking more control. More selling is likely to occur, which should in theory drive down the price. 
The last one I'll go over is called Bearish Harami. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This one is unique as it's not a real pattern to act upon, but instead is one to keep a close eye on. It occurs when a small real red body can fit inside the previous day real body as seen here. The pattern shows indecisiveness by the buyers. If the price continues higher afterwards, they might just be part of an uptrend. But if a down red candle follows the pattern, it could indicate a further fall. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of these patterns that you can use to better predict prices. Whether or not you use candlesticks for technical analysis, you should still know what they are and how they work. Regardless, they tell the story of the stock in a much more detailed way that can help you understand a number of aspects regarding its movement. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed my video. And if you have any other questions or suggestions regarding future videos, feel free to comment. I always love to hear feedback.